welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at exercise 21, which is making this spoon using surfacing inside Creel Parametric 7.0. We're also going to learn how to import images like JPEG images to use as a tracer for the spoon. So let's begin. First of all, make sure you download the spoon files. Now where you're going to locate those is if you go to the Vertanu one com webpage and then part files which is right here and you'll find them you could use either the ones in the white column which is extra 24 jpegs which actually i'm going to change that soon to extra 21 so just be aware or the exercise 21 in the red is fine they're both the same you just click on them you download them copy and paste them into your so here i'll just do it really quick click on it download that comes up here click select these right click cut and then right click and paste onto your desktop and that's it so let's get started go to new part and go ahead and label this e21 i'm going to call my e 21b because i already made an e21 hit ok select the front plane start a sketch go to view model display and images go to import and select the front plane and your desktop should you should find the front jpeg hit open and um, actually what i neglected to do here i'm going to cancel um, you definitely want to scale this first otherwise it comes up really large so what we're going to do is go back to sketch. I forgot about this. Go to line, and right at that origin, draw up the line. Make sure it's vertical. And our spoon is going to be six inches in length. So type in six, hit enter. And you can zoom up to that or hit refit. Now we could go ahead and bring in our spoon. So let's go to view, all display, images, import select the front plane again desktop front jpeg hit open and see it's, it's closer to the size that we want now all right and what you do is you grab the center drag it to right here like drag it to the midpoint of this horizontal break on the spoon now we're not going to design this bottom part we're just going to design this top part for this exercise bottom part takes a little longer if you like you could go ahead and give it a try now once you have that drag this over here get that centered so it's on the origin and now we could just scale it so we could grab this and drag it up to the top of our line and basically to that red dot and maybe a little bit short of it there we go because see which we trim off the top now mind you there's a dozen ways to build spoons inside creo this is just one method this doesn't make the best spoon necessarily if you really tweak it you can get it looking really good but i usually get this little chop at the top where we have to cut it because it's a little uh, sharp okay i'm just gonna make sure i got this centered all right hit okay now we could go ahead and we, uh, that's all we wanted here so let's go to sketch and hit OK so we have it scaled now we're going to go ahead and select the front plane it's our new sketch and go to the spline tool now go down here and get to the outer edge on this center line click and start following up and I'm just using the wheel on my zoom to zoom in and out as I go up um, when it looks like it's starting to bow a little too much you have to add a bit more a few more points so like in these areas here you're gonna have to add several points but i'm a minimalist i believe you can really get a nice smooth surface with just a few points versus adding a lot now do you want this to tap that no let's actually have it end a little bit early like right there no click all right hit okay now let's go to the right plane, start a sketch, go to view, and 
I mount display images, import, select the right plane again, desktop, and select the right side JPEG. Hit open. And with this one, again, we're going to do a similar thing. So if you rotate this, zoom up to the bottom of the spoon and get to that little white square that's there. See, this is the breaking point again. And then you can hit this arrow or this uh, dot, drag it straight up. And now get this dot down there. Right about there. So you're getting the, the point to intersect as close as you can. Uh, this isn't perfect. I've had people comment on, online, oh, well, that's off by 30,000. Uh, it's, it's a spoon, okay? Um, depending upon how much time you spend on it, you can get it pretty darn close. Okay, and then I get it up there to the line. Now, you don't have the red point to really see it very well, but just get as close as you can. And let's get that in a little bit. Gosh, it just wants to snap to that. Uh, we can actually put in, let's see here. It's close enough, I suppose. Let's see, maybe drag it up a bit. We'll get a little bit more freedom. No, it's not working. It's kind of snapping, and I'm not sure why. And as far as getting that exact, it's off a little bit. Remember, the thickness of the spoon is that's really thin. So um, as long as we get it close, and I see we're probably a little bit too there. I can barely see the blue line. Good enough. Just double check down here. We're good to go. Hit OK. Select the right plane. Middle click two times. Select the right plane. Are we still stuck in here? Let's see. Oh, go to sketch, hit OK. All right. Selection is incomplete for reasons listed. Hit yes. OK. Now let's go ahead and select the right plane, sketch, spline, and this time follow this edge. See, that's the top edge, which is beveled. We want to follow this edge right here. It's along that light gray. To the darker gray it's this little black or really dark gray I should say geometry and when you get here you're going to have to put in several points again to smooth it and then we want to follow the, the top of the ladle so we don't want to follow this bottom part we're following this here and because this, uh, I couldn't get that angle for some reason it was snapping. I'm not sure why. If someone knows why, uh, please comment in below and tell us what, what I was doing wrong. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to hit OK. And with that, I go to Model and I extrude that. Now there is. Uh, way someone had mentioned there's a sketch on the sketch option nowadays. Um, I'm just going to do the surface though and go across. We'll just make that four inches to make sure we have the clearance. Hit OK. And now we want to project. So we go over here to project and this uh, go to references. So the chains to project are going to be this outer edge here. Okay, the surface, that surface right there, we want it to uh, bend onto that surface. And then the direction reference, select your front plane, flip the direction of the arrow so it goes down. It doesn't look like we really needed to do that, but um, let's just make sure we did. Okay, and that should do it. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now we have our outer well, thing there. So as you can see, there's our curve. Now we want to get the center curve. So select the right plane, start a sketch, and go to spline again. Start at this, right at the top here, and go across.
and this time we're going to follow the ladle portion as if it's an offset of the, the thickness of the metal. So see how I'm offsetting it up just a little bit. And I'm going to have to come in here and maybe get a little bit lower. That's where it turns out a little funky at the end there. If we were to tweak it better and experiment, you could get it looking good. All right. Go ahead and hit OK. And now we can um, go to, uh, let's see here, Sweep, Surface and references. So the trajectory, the first one is this middle one. Now you want the middle ladle curve. See how it curves underneath there? So get that. And make sure the arrow is starting at the, the bottom of the spoon, not the top. So click the arrow if it's over here. So it's pointing that direction. Now hold control and we want to get that edge of the spoon. Like see this right over here? Hold control and select that. Okay, now we should be able to go to sketch and we're going to draw this geometry in. So here is the actual end of the spoon. We're going to draw in a vertical center line. And now we go to the spline tool. You could snap to this end here, snap to that, and then over here. Sometimes I like uh, I've gotten symmetric as an option. I'm just going to let it float in the middle click and add it manually. So I select and went up here to symmetric, select the red dot, select the red dot, select the horizontal center line, and now they're both symmetric. So that's going to ensure that this follows on both sides. So we don't have to copy over another version of that curve to this side. All right, let's see. Hit OK, and we're getting our spoon. You can see it in the orange. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, now we could hide the surface. Let's click on that. Click on Hide, and we can start to see our spoon surface. To get rid of the uh, images, at least, go to View, Model Display Images. And now you just go to images, you select it, and then you go to hide, images, right side, hide. And so now we're just seeing our actual surface. Now what we're gonna do with this, uh, we could actually hide some of these other entities. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna click on that, hide that. Click on this curve, hide that, and this one here. Don't need those anymore. Don't delete them, just hide them. And this one too you can hide. Oops, I selected the surface. Let's bring that back. So click on that, show. I just want the guide curve. So project, hide that. All right, so we have our surface. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and thicken that. So if you select it and go to model, go to thicken. Now here, um, it's pretty thick. We don't need it that thick. Depending upon how smooth or how garbled yours is, it might be difficult, but let's go 0.06. If this doesn't work, if you're not seeing a preview, go with 0.03. If you still don't see a preview, go with 0.01. Um, you could go as thin as you like, uh, but in reality, you would have to have some form of thickness to make this mold or whatever you're going to do with this spoon. All right, so with that, um, I'm going to stick with this 60,000. This looks pretty good. It's a bit on the thick side, but that's all right. Hit OK. Um, also, you have the ability to um, flip it if you want it on the other side. OK, I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to put some rounds on it. So I'm going to click on the rounds tool. I'm going to put in some 0.25 rounds. So one here and one here. I know the spoon, you're probably thinking, well, that had a different end. That's fine. You, we could have drawn it in that way too. Um, I'm just changing a little bit. Now to fix this, this isn't always the easiest thing. So I'm going to go around and put those on there. And that's not too bad. Again, it's not perfect. Um, not great either. 
Yours might be a little worse, might be a little bit better, depending upon how you drew it. Go around, and let's put in a nice round all the way around. So uh, 0 0.015. Select that edge there. And there. It should go all the way around. Okay, now finally to sh uh, give this a little bit more life, go to view. Appearance, the chrome here comes out really nice. So go to body, and there it is. All right, now to render it and get that at the base, go to applications. And not every license has this, so render studio, and then go to scene, edit scene, and environment, and select back. There we go. Hit close. And you can see our spoon is done. And that concludes this exercise.